Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get some milkweed seeds started in the classroom. Um, it's really a very simple process, um, but there's a few key things that you uh, will want to follow uh, in order to ensure uh, the milkweed growing successfully. And so um, one of the first things I'll show you guys today that you will have in your milkweed in the classroom kit is uh, this flat here. Um, and you're gonna get a couple different flats in there. So you're gonna wanna make sure for this step that you will use the one that actually has drainage holes in it. And what I've done, I've, I've uh, gotten the seed starting mix and I've actually pre-moistened that. Uh, so just used a, a simple bucket uh, and pre-moistened that with a bunch of water. Um, so it's nice and saturated. And so I'm just gonna simply uh, go ahead and fill this flat up. And so just get it spread evenly uh, throughout the flat here and just press down uh, lightly. Since it's already saturated, um, you know, it'll do pretty well here um, and not lose a lot of volume uh, as you start to water it more. So filling the, the flat is actually one option um, to, to start the seed. And so there's a process called cold stratification that's actually very important uh, when you're planting milkweeds or other native plants. Um, so cold stratification simply just means providing the seed with cold and wet conditions. Um, and so that's kind of the natural process for milkweeds and other native prairie plants um, because they go through that in the wintertime. Um, so the seed lays out on the ground after the summertime uh, when that drops, and then you're getting kind of uh, freezing and thawing of those uh, surface soils. So what we're going to try and do in the classroom uh, is just mimic that process because we're going to get better germination uh, in the end uh, and we'll see better, um, you know, we'll see more milkweeds coming up uh, in our flat if we go through about a two-week process of that cold stratification. Um, so you can certainly use the flat uh, during the cold stratification process. Um, you can actually do this outdoors if you have a nice uh, kind of protected location. Uh, another option that might be more feasible um, given space considerations or uh, maybe not wanting to have that flat outside during that period is to actually um, wrap the seeds up into some moist paper towels. Um, and those can go inside just kind of your basic gallon plastic bag. And then this can be placed in a refrigerator and then also the freezer. Um, so my suggestion with the cold stratification, if you're doing that this way, uh, is to actually rotate that between the refrigerator and the freezer, um, maybe for a couple days at a time, kind of back and forth, uh, maybe at least four or five times until you're ready to plant. Um, so I will show you then, um, how to just kind of sprinkle the seed on the flat or uh, in the paper towels and kind of what we're looking for as far as not, um, you know, putting enough seed on the flat, but not too much. And so I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle that over the surface of the flat here. And I'm gonna try and, and cover quite a bit of it, but I'm gonna leave also enough space that things don't get, you know, overcrowded as well. Um, and so, Kind of a similar technique with the uh, paper towels. You're just going to want to make sure that you spread it out enough that kind of each seed has contact with that moist paper towel. So you might have a few different layers actually that you'd want to do. Um, so I'm going to do one layer here to show you, um, but you might consider doing uh, maybe even four layers of this uh, with paper towels in between. Um, and just to make sure you have enough seed when you put that out on the flat after the cold stratification process. So about like that. And then the next important thing here is to make sure that you seal the bag. So uh, one more thing to note too is that I didn't oversaturate the uh, paper towels. Um, I let them get pretty moist and then I actually wrang it out a little bit um, just so that it's, it's fairly damp but not actually dripping any water uh, is gonna get you the best results. Um, so this is about the proper thickness uh, for spreading the seed here. And so since we're done with that, um, when we're working with the flat, uh, you need to cover the seed with a little bit of growing medium. Um, you don't want to overdo this um, because uh, 
you know, they're adapted to germinating with just, uh, you know, a very small layer of soil over them. What, I, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of the drier growing medium to do that so I can effectively sprinkle it. I'm just going to get uh, as even a spread I as I can um, over the flat here and just lightly cover all of the seed. So that's starting to look good. I'm not, I'm not really seeing many seeds that are exposed. Um, and so I've covered most of it, but there's probably only about um, this thickness uh, of growing medium in any one spot. Um, so I'm gonna just lightly press down to make sure everything's kind of even and get that uh, drier medium kind of ingrained uh, with the wetter grow medium there. So now it's important to make sure that the uh, top growing medium that you just sprinkled on uh, is going to be saturated as well. And so you've got the spray bottle um, in your milkweed in the classroom kit. And so this will work well to just um, really kind of work over that and moisten all of that uh, top growing medium there. And this first time it might take a, a little bit longer to kind of get over the whole flat and make sure it's uh, really nice and uh, saturated here. Um, but then if you keep on top of it um, every day in the classroom, um, then you can um, just make sure that you, you keep it nice and moist. Um, something you can do each morning or um, you know, with the kids uh, when they're in the classroom each day. Um, I should also mention though, as, as the cold stratification process though, if you're uh, planting right into the flat and uh, taking this outdoors um, to kind of go through that freeze and thaw, thaw process. Um, you won't have to probably water as often depending on the, the weather conditions. So of course, if it does get sunny and hot, you might be uh, needing to check this every day, um, you know, if, if things are thawing out and you'll want to moisten that again. Um, but if it stays frozen for, for a couple days, then of course you, you probably won't need to water at that point. So now that you've uh, got everything planted and the topsoil on the uh, flat moistened, um, then you're gonna go ahead and get uh, either the flat outside or into the refrigerator or freezer, or uh, you're gonna take your um, seed with the moistened paper towel in the bag and place that in the refrigerator and freezer as well to alternate that. And so after that two weeks is up of the cold stratification um, for the flat, you're gonna simply um, bring that out of the refrigerator or freezer, or bring it in from the outdoors, um, and you're gonna place that in the classroom and use the grow lights that were in uh, the milkweed in the classroom growing kit. Um, so there's two of those that will then be placed um, over the flat like that, um, and that flat's gonna warm up uh, over time. Um, and within about one to two weeks after being inside the classroom, you're probably gonna see uh, signs of life where your milkweed plants start germinating. Um, for the milkweed that is in, for the seed that is in the, the bag um, that you take out of the freezer and refrigerator, uh, you're gonna simply open that up, take the seeds out of the uh, paper towels and simply follow the uh, growing process for the flat. So what we uh, visited earlier in the video, um, you're just gonna get that seed and take it and sprinkle it over the flat and follow that same uh, process where you then cover that after that point um, and then leave it in the classroom to begin growing.